Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to factory reset a ubiquity access point like this one. So the first way is a physical way. Um, you just literally use the reset button. You need a little uh, paper clip like this or um, like the little things you get in an iPhone or an Android phone. And you basically just have to hold down the reset button here for about 10 seconds. And then the device will start blinking, etc. And then eventually it will go back from a blue light to a white light. And that means it's factory reset and it's ready for adoption. So that's one way. The next way to do it is on the controller. So I'll just share my screen with you now and show you how to do it the next way. Okay, so I'm in my controller and you can see that I've got a load of access points here. I'm just doing a bit of a setup at the moment. Um, so I can basically just select one of these access points, say that I wanted to reset this one here. Select that, go to settings on the side, go right down to the bottom and then select remove. And what that will do is once you select that, is that access point will then drop off your controller and it will factory reset itself back to, um, back to default so it's ready for adoption. And you'll probably see it pop up in your controller again as a device ready to be adopted. Now both of those ways are the simplest ways and if all's going well, then that's exactly what you should do. Both of those, either of those scenarios, they work perfectly. However, sometimes in my experience, things don't always go to plan and sometimes you need to use the third alternative method. So the third method is using something called SSH. Now it sounds a little bit daunting and a little bit scary, but it's not, um, it's really pretty simple. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download some software. So I'll put the link in the comments below, but it's called Putty, and you can find it at putty.org. Just download that, get it onto your computer, and then you'll be ready to go with the SSH. You then need to know the IP address of the access point that you want to reset. So say for example, this one here, we've got 192.168.200.50. So we're gonna open up Putty. We'll select Putty. And then in this little bar where the cursor is at the moment, I'm gonna type that IP address. So that was 192.168.200.50, was it? I think it's 50. 50, yeah. And then you just press enter and, oh, just got you on my share screen. And then um, basically this is where you log in to the access point. So I'm just gonna show you how to get those credentials. So you, what you have to do is you have to, on the controller, go down to settings, and then the little search bar, the easiest thing to do is just type SSH. And then you'll get this down here, select on that, and then you can go down to that bit and you'll see that it's highlighted it. So these credentials here, the username and password, are your SSH, uh, username and password. You can change these. I've obviously changed them to something uh, easy to remember, um, but you can. they will probably be a random code initially, but you can change them to whatever you want them to be. Just remember, if the device isn't connected, then it's not gonna know that you've got new SSH credentials. So basically, you just take that username, and you can copy paste it if you want, and the password, again, you can copy paste it. Go into Putty, and then enter those credentials. So my SSH, username and then my SSH password. Press enter and then you're logged into the access point. So that's you in, you're able to do SSH commands from there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're gonna select this um, command. This basically is the command to get it to factory reset. So you just highlight that, copy paste it, and I'll put this in the comments as well. Go back to Putty, paste it in, press enter, and you'll see it working away. And then the access point will still be in the controller at this point, but you will see that the lights on the access point change from blue to white. It will take a little minute, and I'll see which one it was. I don't know which one it was I did. I think it's this one. The light's gone off on this one, so I think this one's resetting as we speak. Um, on the controller, you then have to forget that device. So we go to the device here, select on that 50, and we're gonna go settings, scroll down to remove, and that's done. That, that access point is now removed from your system. It's ready for adoption again. And that's the best way to do things if you find that one of your access points isn't playing up and the reset button or forgetting off the controller isn't working. I hope this video has been useful. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.